Hello everyone! My name is Teddy Prism and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. Last uh, time we finished uh, up uh, that uh, Iblis uh, Stone uh, storyline which ended up uh, turning Reynardo a complete uh, peace uh, loving uh, fox. So, without further ado, let's just continue. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so I'm uh, planning on no, going to Surely after the that Sky that Ripper this the time. Lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Lepino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Yeah. Also, I have to point out uh, that uh, that uh, info of uh, Iblistone turning its user uh, to, to to bloodthirsty savage, uh, it kind of... Uh, I didn't really discover it uh, by having it happen to me, but by other means. So... I'm kind of interested to see that storyline too. But let's uh, go after uh, Sky Ripper. The rebellion was out of time and Reynardo needed a game changer. An ancient artifact that defeated the Lost Gods would indeed be a game changer. Though it was split into two pieces many years ago, Reynardo could rebuild it by first getting its armature. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the Lost Gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. So basically we are racing against the Emperor in finding that. This could uh, be interesting. As he set foot on the island, Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. If they had, he hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Hmm. Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Let's see how this goes. And uh, considering we went first on those uh, two other uh, choices, uh, it uh, kind of plays to Reynardo's character so far. At least based on that uh, description we just got. Ooh, sparkly, thought Renardo. We now should have enough uh, for that uh, void blade. Is this correct way? At least it leads down. This uh, seems familiar somehow, but let's first make that sword. There, void blade. Uh, Increase movement and attack speed. Not too bad. Let's upgrade it. This sword from the mystical east could make time itself slow for you. 
There we go, and let me guess, that's a... Uh, I'll leave the down. Oh, there was a door. I wasn't expecting that. I thought this was uh, some kind of lift, like uh, at that, uh, at that, um, what's the word? Uh, there, um, the desert temple. Also, there's. Bernardo wondered, I, I almost did. missed this. People who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. <laughs> Those must be quite long ones then. Nothing else. I almost missed that. Uh, if I weren't uh, stopping by here to talk with you, I wouldn't have seen that. Ah, there's those uh, spy bots again. One down, two down. Renato hated gogglers, but it freaked him out to cut them. <laughs> yeah, they look kind of meaty inside, so no surprises there, really. This is kind of hers. Little bit of spooky place to be. Ah, no, 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 no. Little bit of spooky place. The people who had built this castle, did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But oh, had that been doesn't wars. sound good. The only merciful war was a short one. That's a true thing. He was practically sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. And let's see what we can uh, get this time. Hmm. We need to get the. Uh... Hmm. I think uh, we are going to go with Time Master here. Or. Yeah, let's go with the uh, Time day Master. Is getting better and better. Oh, I still had uh, one, uh, one point to use. Hmm. Let's uh, go with the. Uh, Getting stronger. He can draw distances are increased. And uh, let's open uh, this door here. Oh, I'm. Uh, I still. I'm still missing this sword. The mysterious sword from the east made you so fast you could catch a fly with your chopsticks. That uh, was just what we needed. And not perfect, but it was fun. After ah, that or now where to this way that looks obvious way to go but I think we are going to go this way first ah the road less traveled thought Renardo how intriguing there must be something at the end of this route <laughs> Well, plenty of enemies at least. No, I need to destroy that one. Sorry, I got uh, really silent there. I should have uh, said something, but 
That was uh, just way this too much stone fun. This incredibly valuable. Ooh, could treasure hunter. It. Also, it still had its price tag. <laughs> Why was that so funny? I don't know. Also, is there anything in this way? Of course, there is this treasure chest at least, but is there anything else? What's this? The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in thick fog. The most believable tale is that the transcendent emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. Then the transcendent emperor buried the weapon and vanished. Was it a self imposed exile to rid the world of its last divine presence? Or was it the price to pay for using such a tremendous power? Could the, the Sky Ripper and Iblis have deeper connection than uh, just weapon and its victim? My ritual, rituals will summon the Iblis stone. Perhaps I should uh, worry that they will also cause the Sky Ripper to resurface. If that is the case, I should spare no resources to find it. A weapon that uh, can banish a god is an invaluable bargaining chip uh, should the old ones decide to double cross me. It is in their nature to try. But gods are predictable and I can uh, rely on that uh, to always be one step ahead. Emperor Isengrim uh, third secret journal. Yeah, Emperor has been here. I'm kind of uh, surprised we found that. Still, wrong kind of sword. We need to explore that bad way once we get the correct sword to open that door. Now let's just return to our normal quest. Oh, this again. No, 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 whoa, that was a little bit too close. Say goodnight, Gracie. No, no, no. Said Renato, wondering who Gracie was. <laughs> and there's a couple more of them here. One less now. Two less. Third one going down. And then... Uh, one. That should be every every one of to those. Oh, I made their slight mistake and another. Let's grab him, throw and strike, and uh, hope you go. Right, throw, and there we go. And we continue. Ah, Is uh, this some kind puzzle. of puzzle? Renato loved puzzles. Except when he couldn't figure them out. On the other hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you stole my words right up out of my mouth. Just checking if uh, there's... Well... Don't I have... Uh, yes, I have a correct sword here. I'll be back uh, for that puzzle later. Later. Record the ravens. Could have ended badly. It was almost the uh, imperfect one. Luckily, I caught up uh, that uh, in time. Energy on kill. 
good. Now let's uh, switch to this healing sword here. That had been his mistake before. Thinking he could win a battle of wills with an ancient evil all by himself. <laughs> he had to be cleverer than that. Or braver. Or... something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's that puzzle. Apparently I bypassed that. Can't uh, open that one yet, but we can enter this chamber and find this armature. There it was. Skyripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device <laughs> was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. At first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well... Yes? There was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. Hmm. But fighting Zenobia now... That made no sense at all. Yeah, it doesn't He'd really make sense. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I'll go after this uh, sco core piece then. He needed to go get the core of Skyripper, obviously. Reynardo has uh, found the armature of the Skyripper. Without the core, it would uh, just be an empty and useless cell. The only reason one uh, would seek uh, the armature was to build a legendary weapon that had once banished the Lost Gods. Obviously, Reynardo should get the core. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power yeah, was most in the likely. core. Obviously, he had to get the core. We need to stop uh, that Emperor. Doubt sunk in before he was even out of sight of the Farfarer. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? It was the sort of path he'd always avoided. The path of responsibility, Ooh. of seriousness. Had he grown up? He didn't feel grown up. He'd made this decision from his gut, like he always did. Somehow, he'd impulsively decided to stop being impulsive. Did hmm. that make any sense? Yeah, taking a responsibility is, uh, I have to agree, it's a kind of a new thing uh, the waterfall was spectacular. for Reynardo. We I had to enjoy think... these things as they came. We pass this way but once. Yeah, that uh, too I have to agree with. That's uh, somewhat uh, spectacular. Anyway, let's... Uh, Open this because I just noticed I'm almost uh, dead. And also, let's uh, make or more like uh, take a use of uh, this new game. So, we got the uh, Treasure Hunter set to increase the uh, chance of real, rare loot by 1%, or killing uh, enemies gives you 3% of sword energy back. I much rather prefer Treasure Hunter. Hunter. And we can make uh, or upgrade our. Well, we are going to make this uh, winter dawn, which we still miss. This sword from the frigid north was really useful for making popsicles and birdsicles. <laughs> and let's continue our 
way. We just need to find that uh, ball. And I need to switch my sword to that healing one. I'm uh, quite bad uh, pickle if I die here because I forgot to get this that healing from uh, these skills. Oh, that's a fail. Hmm, I wonder why these are so red. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Looks like I'm about to get the answer to my question. So why is this uh, route blocked? Anything? He'd yes, a there's pirate that captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. Oh, what was his name again? Let's see if I can uh, pass this. Without getting hit. Surprisingly easy. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Yeah, Had I was so wondering before, about them too. He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where are they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Yeah, it sounds like it. What's really happening here? I like to know. Anything in here? It's a. Uh... No it's... one could beat Bernardo at hot potato. It's kind of uh, getting a worry here. Not sure why, but this place is uh, just uh, starting to be to be creeps. Anything in here? New game. Physical resistance. And a little bit of essences. So. I guess we are going this way now. Safe route here. Hmm. Of course there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect the transcendent emperor to bury a god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. Quite easy puzzle, to be honest. Just needed to use those levers there. And let's pull that. Need to time that a bit better. Oh, come on! Open, says me. Oh. Well, that didn't work. At least it didn't work so well as I hoped for. Are we close to that uh, core? We should be. Well, we're close to enemies at least. That's one way to avoid uh, getting hit by that attack. Oh no. Getting rid of you is my first call. And that's the last raven there. Renata felt ready to come faster, Ooh. stronger, bolder. If only he could figure out which. That was fun fight. 
and next room is that uh, core. Let's the twenty-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts, and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now he had to make his next move. There was a key yeah. Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Well, that was an interesting start for this storyline. But I think this is a good place to end this video. I will be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.